Hello there and welcome to Multiscreen Multitasking, the latest app from NQR Productions. That's me, Adam Shinitsky. Uh, so basically, if you've ever wanted your Android to be able to do more, and if you've ever wanted to be able to multitask on it as though it was a full PC, you're going to love this app. Because basically, I personally wanted my uh, Android to be able to do more things so that I could work on the go, um, browse multiple websites at once, and generally use my uh, Android more like a PC. I don't like the kind of restrictions you often get from uh, mobile devices, and so I created this for myself. I then released it to the store, and it's been quite a big success. So uh, hopefully you like it, and I'll show you what it can do now. So basically, I wanted to be able to launch as many different things in little windows as possible. Unfortunately, this can't run the apps that are installed on your device. That's not possible due to the way that Android works. However, what I've tried to create here is the next best thing. So basically, I've programmed lots of small apps into one larger app, and got those little functions to run inside movable and resizable windows. So for instance, here you have your browser. You can move it around the screen and uh, do essentially anything you would normally do with a browser. It's got a list of favourites, it's got options and settings, stop, refresh, forwards, backwards, all the normal stuff that you might expect. Notice I drag it to the side of the screen here and it clips onto that edge of the screen. That then makes it much more useful to use another browser, or two more browsers. You can use them on top of each other, there's no problem with that. Like so. So why would you want to be able to use two browsers at once? Browsers are just the tip of the iceberg, by the way, but I'm going to start with browsers. Well, one reason you might want to is so that you can go to Facebook. You might want to speak to your friend on Facebook chat, while at the same time reading IGN, which is probably my favourite geeky website. So this way I could be chatting to a friend whilst at the same time uh, reading the latest news about the new Superman film, etc. Which some people might want to do. Alternatively, you can also watch YouTube. Multi-screen multitasking supports video. Also has a movie player for watching your MPEGs, but I don't actually have any on my device at the moment. So let's find something to watch. Let's have a look at this Sonic Colors we walk through. This is we're playing music and watching a video at the same time. How else can you do that? Move that around, do whatever you want with it. Or if you want it to be full screen, double tap, and it will go to full screen like so. But if you want to bring something from behind back to the front, it's really annoying, isn't it? So let's pause that music. Let's bring it to the front. I'm trying to remember which one it is. Yes, yeah, so you hold on the icon, pops up to the front like this. You can control that. Let's pause that. That's annoying too. But if this still isn't enough space for you, settings, hide or show bottom bar, and there you go, you're now using the full size of your screen. So you can use it as a multi-screen multitasking uh, thing, or you can just use it as a regular browser, whatever you like. And you can use that like that, and you can dra drag whatever you want. This could be a Facebook chat, for instance, and you can drag it around over the top of whatever you're doing here. So let's close that for a bit, and let's look at some of the other stuff. Notice how these windows have changed shape because I've, uh, to accommodate the larger screen size now. Show the bottom bar again. Let's put the music back on. Let's start it from the beginning. So what else do we have here? Well, for instance, we have a text editor. Why might you want to have a text editor open at the same time as your browser? Well, for instance, you can be reading here, looking at whatever news you want, or go to Wikipedia, which I've bookmarked and you can write about Wikipedia. So this way, when you're researching a topic for an essay or for work, you don't have to keep switching in between apps. You can do it all in one. You can copy and paste, obviously. Just copy that. Paste it into here. How much more convenient is that? And this has got an email function, so if you wanted to copy and share something that way, you can just copy it, paste it, and then send the email straight from your text editor, which I think is kind of useful. It's got a word count feature which is something you don't normally have on many uh, word processors and things. That's 33 words, 212 characters. I think it's pretty useful. Going to my website now, because I'm going to show you something else. My website has a huge background and I have a slow internet connection. Oh, it's loaded. Okay, good. Uh, this website's also, my uh, this app I mean, is rather quite useful for uh, web designers as well. I'll show you why because here you have a function that allows you to view the source of the web page you're on. So there you go, that's the uh, source of the biomatrix, my website. So if I wanted I could edit that and then I could save it as a HTML file 
on my device and edit it from there. Soon my app's going to support FTP, so you'll be able to edit uh, files directly online using the text editor and preview them on here, because that's something else this can do. Yes, new document. Obviously this works very well with the mouse and keyboard, but as most people won't have that, I wanted to show it to you like this. This is the this is uh, HTML for those that don't know. That's the bold tag, and I'm just showing you this because it's useful for developers. Hello, now open as web page. Ooh, <laughs> just post the other thing. Open as web page, and there you go. Notice it's opened it in a new browser, so it hasn't interrupted what I'm doing here. Oops. And there you have it. That's very handy if you're obviously you want to edit lots of different websites and things. Just make sure this doesn't stop. So this is for fun and it's for uh, productive uses. So what else have we got? We've also got the uh, file manager here. The file manager is useful for all kinds of things. You can look at images. You can delete, obviously, copy, paste search, just as any other file manager. You've got your icons to show you what each thing does. And if you click on it, it'll open it with the correct... And we do have video actually, I lied. So click video. I do not know what that is. It opens automatically in the video player. Oh, 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 okay. Let's just close that. Goodbye. That was awkward. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> Stop the music again. You did not see anything. Anyways, <laughs> you can. I did that on purpose, obviously. Jesus, what is in this folder? Okay. So if you've got this image here, long click, you get a preview of the image. You can cut, delete, copy, rename, or set as background. It's not a particularly attractive background, but let's set it anyways. So as you can see, there's lots of settings here, so you can make the uh, app exactly the way you want it. If you don't like these bars, if you think they're ugly, as some people have said, which is hurtful because I made them myself, go to settings. You can change the bar size as well to make them bigger or smaller. Change the bar colour. Let's make it a nice light blue. It's quite a nice theme actually, isn't it? So notice we've completely changed the look of this app. That's something else you can do. And in the future I'm going to be introducing uh, shortcuts down the side here, so you really can use it as a full Windows thing. Now what's this here? What's this icon? That's PDF, which we also have support for on this app. Double tap again and it goes, uh, it minimizes. So there's that PDF. Click that. It will remind you on the last page. We haven't gone anywhere, so the last page was zero. And you can read PDF, so you can read your ebooks. Move them around the screen. So if you want to be reading an ebook whilst at the same time listening to music or watching a video, that's something you can do with multi screen multitasking. Again, pretty handy, you've got zooming in, skip to page, open, obviously. And these icons represent the draw pad, which is another app on here. Click that. This is Fraser's house. Fraser Crane. <laughs> so it's opened in my draw pad. I can draw on it, as you might expect. <laughs> Change my pen colour. All kinds of fun stuff. Or I can still clearly start a new drawing and draw another smiley face, which is like literally all I draw. A reason this might be useful is say you're an artist and you want to copy an image from your browser. So you want to get a picture of Fred Flintstone, you can do that on there. You've also got your rubber, undo, uh, change your pen size, all those kinds of things that you'd expect yet again. Another handy feature is a map. So on the map, find out where you are, view the satellite. Now if your friend was asking for directions on how to get to your house, oh, kind of just shared my address with the whole world. Let's, uh, let's close that as well. This is going well. Say your uh, friend wanted to know how to get to your house, you could open that up, you could text them directions, uh, email them directions. On the phone version, you can also actually text, and you're going to be able to answer the phone. So there you go, I think I've shown you the very basics of this app. There's a lot more you can do with it, and really it's however you want it. People have surprised me with the uses that they found for it. One guy was using it uh, for karaoke, so he could listen to the music and read the lyrics at the same time. You know, not the 
usage that I had envisaged for it, but like that's just the thing. It'll uh, liberate the way you use your device. Um, you can also view whatever app you have in the background by doing a transparent uh, background. I have another home screen in the background, so it doesn't really show you much. But uh, So if you've got widgets on your home screen, you can look at things like the time, etc. But yeah, so that's the basics of this app. I'm going to be bringing a lot more to it. And stay tuned because I'm bringing a, uh, a desktop launcher in this style uh, that's got a lot of cool features. It's very different, and that's going to be on Kickstarter. So if you're interested, check out my website and the link. It's where you'll get all the latest information. And uh, thanks for checking it out. I hope you enjoy the app. And if you do, please leave a positive re review because uh, the more you help me to get exposure for it, the more I'll be able to update it. And I want, I've got lots of exciting new plans in the future. Like I say, FTP, something that's coming soon. Uh, links to favourites and that uh, desktop launcher that should uh, change the way you use your device. So uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope you find this interesting and uh, ch please do check out the app. And just to demonstrate quickly, this is multi-screen multitasking in portrait mode on a phone. As you can see it works just as well. Everything scales nicely to the smaller device, although this is a whopping phone. I have a Galaxy Note which I've modified heavily. And you have all the same functions which work exactly the same, except you also have messaging. There's my messages. And if you type a message in here, you can send it to whoever you want. You have your message from everybody as well as a list of your contacts. And you can send it to whoever you want. So there you go. If you want the phone version, look for multi-screen multitasking. If you want the tablet version, look for multi-screen multitasking THD. Um, in the future, those texts are going to pop up over the top of whatever you're doing. So uh, look forward to that. And uh, thanks again for watching. And uh, look forward to seeing you uh, on those positive Play Store reviews. Adios.